do you realize that Temotu province is the only province in the Solomon Islands that has a moor in its name? Temor too. Think about it. His Excellency, our Governor General, Sir David Unagi, and your beautiful wife, our Speaker of Parliament, Patson Oti, our Guest of Honor, Dr. Luke Furrow, the Honorable Premier for Guadalcanal Canal Province, thank you for your presence this morning here with us, and your beautiful wife, Vice Chancellor for Sinu, Dr. Jack Mebuta, invited guests, church leaders, village chiefs, ladies and gentlemen. I stand here today as a simple daughter of Temotu who grew up in the room, re rural, remote islands of Temotu province, like most of you. I have watched my mother broke down because she didn't have the school fees to continue to pay for my fees. I have witnessed my grandfather died of a curable disease because there was not there was not accessible medi medication. I understand how it feels like to plan a holiday and then you went to the wharf and there was no ship because the only available logistics is for cargo. And you wait and waited and waited and waited thinking that the marine will change your mind and allow passengers to get on. And you return home having to explain to your people that you cannot get home because of logistics. I understand what it feels like to not have a running water and you, you allocate hours of your day daily to look for water to sustain you, to cook, to drink, and to do your laundry. I'm standing here today as a mother who grew up in a patrilineal society where women are told to live in a certain space. But I'm not here today to rave about these obstacles. We are here today to celebrate Temotu's 40th second appointed day. Congratulations, Temotu province. I'm here today because I want to declare that in the midst of everything, all the obstacles that we see in our province, there is more in the name Temotu. And in the next decade, I want to declare, I'm, I'm seeing a vision. And this vision is the more in the word Temotu will start tangible. It will start, we will start implementing, we will start seeing more resources flowing into our province. More opportunities, more young people will rise up to take on the challenge. People that will run forth and say no to corruption. They will take the province forward. And this is the future of Temotu. Solomon Islands and Temotu province, we have a lot of unemployed young people. We have 70% of population in this country is made up of youths, yet we, we spend limited resources investing in our young people. And this is an issue. If you want to know the future of a country, of a province, you look at its youth population. Where are they going? Today, if you look at our youth population, most of them, they have their passports ready to leave this nation, to go work overseas. If this doesn't freak you out, I don't know what will. We want to develop will be a modern modernized and
and model province for this nation. We will bring in the more from Temotu and we need collaboration. We need to synergize Pele and Vatu and Nende. We need to work together in this decade to see our plans coming forth, to see youth and women included in our development plans. a message from my small brother and he told me that he's going over to Australia for seasonal work for the next four years. I was excited but I was also scared. We are losing the human resources of this country because we are not able to provide the resources that they can remain in our province. They can stay back in our country and invest in our country if we have to see the sustainable development goals, the national youth policy and the strategy trickling down to the provincial and community level. We need to build the youth population. We need to invest in them. They are the ticking time bomb of our nation. If we invest in them, into, and into positive developments and we will see rural development in our provinces. If we don't, my friends, we will keep losing them to other countries that have the resources in place to provide for these young people. This modern and model province that we are talking about, Tamatu province, in the next decade, it needs collaborative effort. All of you that are standing here today, that are sitting down here, children, mothers, fathers, business people, everybody, we need to collaborate to change the narrative. We want to change the narrative. We want to get Australian youth to come and work in Temotu province. But how? How do we do that? We need to develop our agriculture sector. We need to develop climate smart villages. We need to tap into the more that is in Temotu. There's no Temotu without the more. And the day we wake up to this truth, it doesn't matter our obstacles, our remoteness will still be there. But the day we wake up to this truth, Temotu will progress. And today, to achieve this, what do we do? Do we wait for the next member of parliament in our three constituencies to achieve this for us? To develop Temotu into a modernized model province? Do we wait for our MPs? No. Each and every one of us here today, you play a part, you provide a service. Not everybody can be great. Not everybody can be famous. Not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great. Each and every one of us that are standing here today, you provide a service. Whatever little you come with, put it on the table. We work together, we collaborate, we network, we synergize. We don't compete against each other. In this next decade, let's work together to see Temo to progressing. And so, to achieve this, to answer the question, how do we achieve it? I want all of you to stand up, please. Stand up and let's answer this question together. Everybody, if you're from Temotu, please rise from your seat. Rise from your seats, please. Thank you. I want you to lift your hand, your right hand, and place it on your chest. And repeat after me. I am the more that Temotu needs. I am the more that my province needs. I am the more that my village needs. I am Temotu. Thank you and God bless Howie.